If you're a regulatory or quality hiring manager or a talent acquisition professional who helps hire this type of talent, I'm here today to tell you too many cooks in the kitchen spoil the broth. Or in other words, too many recruiters spoil your urgent and credible search. My name is Mitch Robbins and I am the Regulatory and Quality Recruiter or the RAQA Recruiter. And in my many years of helping organizations across the life sciences, whether it be pharmaceutical, medical device, biotech, IVD, to hire top talent, the number one mistake I have found that hamstrings managers, even before they work with me, is having the erroneous assumption that by taking their search that is urgent and critical and giving it out to multiple recruiters to attack the market simultaneously helps them to land best-in-class talent. Look, believe me, I get it. It makes sense on the surface. You want to hedge your bet, mitigate your risk, not put all your eggs in one basket. Maybe one recruiter has one network, another recruiter has another network. But if you dig a little deeper, it just really drags you froth with peril. You could be months down the line spending boatloads of money with your search still open. Senior management is breathing down your neck. Why is the search still open? Why? And you know what the worst part is? The recruiters who you're working with are nowhere to be found when it comes time to take responsibility for your lack of results. So let's talk today about the dirty little secret. What is really going on on your behalf of, as the client out in the marketplace when you're working with multiple recruiters on one search? Before we do, let me ask you a couple questions. Have you ever received a candidate's resume, the same candidate's resume for multiple recruiters for the same position? Have you ever received a variety of candidates to interview very early on in your search, but then you hear crickets, nothing from those recruiters? There's a couple reasons why that may be happening. Let me explain further. So when you work with multiple recruiters, You're working under terms considered contingency. The recruiter fills your search, the recruiter gets paid. If the recruiter doesn't fill your search, they get zero. Get paid, get zero. So let me ask you this. Why would a recruiter dare work under such risky terms? Not only that, but what other industry works like this? Doctors get paid for their services. Realtors ask their clients to work under exclusive terms. Lawyers are retained for their services. I can't think of another industry. So why would a recruiter work under these terms? The truth is, they're really not. And if they are, they're so new in the business, they don't have a choice but to work under such risky terms. Let me explain further what's happening. <clears throat> under the contingency terms, with multiple recruiters involved, the recruiter's gonna identify a qualified candidate and present them to you as the client to interview for you your opportunity. But to hedge their bet and to mitigate their own risk, they now have to find as many similar opportunities as possible with other companies to improve the probability of placing this candidate and earning a service fee. So it looks like this. So while you're interviewing a candidate that you actually have interest in and you're excited, that same recruiter who presented that candidate most likely at one point or another had presented the candidate to your competitors. Why? It's just human nature to make money at, for a living, right? You don't work for free. Nobody does. So that's what's happening. But it's a speed game. How quickly can this recruiter get this candidate in front of you as the client before the other recruiter does? That's why sometimes not only do you have the same candidates in front of you, but all of a sudden at some point in the search, you don't hear anything. Because what's happening is the recruiters are doing very surface level work. How fast can we present candidates and move on? On the other hand, we have what's considered an engaged search. This is where you as the hiring manager or the talent acquisition professional or the client have entrusted your urgent and critical search to a search firm partner who is now going to go out to the marketplace. They're gonna create a homogenized recruitment campaign with a homogenized screening process. They're gonna overturn every possible rock or every prospective candidate to see how many they can qualify and attract for this opportunity. 
Then they're gonna help you start to narrow down the pool, ultimately helping you land on your final candidate. Here you have a partner who is accountable to you for results, who's not going to stop recruiting on your behalf until the search is filled. So the next time that you have an urgent and critical regulatory and quality search, I want you to take these two models into account. One's not right, one's not wrong, they're just different. But the biggest difference is the casual efforts of many or the dedicated efforts of one. Give consideration the next time you have that urgent and critical search and make the best decision for your organization and your specific situation. Until next time, this is Mitch Robbins, the Regulatory and Quality Recruiter. Make today great.